In this video, I want to present you a new library that I have just released. So it's a KMP library available for Android, iOS, desktop, and even a Kotlin WASM or web. The purpose of this library is to integrate countries into your app. Whether you're building an app that needs to display a list of currencies for each country, a dial code for each country, or just the name of the country, this library can help you with that. I have also integrated the two UI components that can help you get started as quickly as possible. So, before we open up the code and uh, I show you how this actually uh, works, let me just uh, open up this uh, library itself. So, uh, the main thing about this library is the enum class called country. So, each and every country here has a dial code, a currency, and a flag, right? So, on the bottom of this uh, enum class, we also have uh, two uh, helper functions. So, the first one is used to uh, properly format the name of each and every enum constant here. As you can see, we are basically using the capital letter as the separator and we are separating those uh, words uh, by using this um, simple blank space. So, for example, if we have the Central African Republic, we are using this function to add those uh, blank spaces between uh, Central uh, and Africa and between Africa and the Republic. We also have the function that will allow us to uh, filter uh, all those uh, countries by either the currency, the name or the dial code as well. Then after that, we also have one more um, uh, enum class called the country display option. So this uh, will help us to basically properly format uh, each and every country in our code. So, so in our app, we can display the, the name, the currency, the dial code, the dial code with the name and the name with the currency as well. So there are multiple different uh, options. And this is just the first uh, version or the release of this library. Uh, I'm planning also to uh, keep maintaining this library furthermore and even maybe implement some kind of a new feature or add a more uh, customization options. So that's also a possibility. And uh, there we have uh, those uh, two uh, helper uh, UI components like a country picker field and a country picker dialog. So without the further ado, let me just open up that project and I'll show you in practice how we can use this library. So uh, those components uh, by default uh, uses uh, the Material 3 um, uh, library itself. So all those um, colors here are um, customizable and we can of course change them uh, manually by passing those parameters within those two components like the country picker dialog and the picker field. So right here we have this uh, country picker field and whenever we click that, as you can see, we are changing the state here, show dialog equal to true. And when that happens, we are here showing our country picker dialog. Right, so there it is. Um, right now, as you can see, a default country which is selected here is uh, Serbia, like we can see right here in the code. So we can also search different countries here by uh, the country name, like that. We can also use the dial code for each and every country or the currency as well, right? So with that uh, parameter um, display options, country display uh, options, yeah, so this one, uh, we can customize what kind of information about uh, each and every country uh, we want to see here in uh, each and every item here in this dialog or in this actual field as well. So for example, we can here write in the field, uh, so display uh, option, so country uh, display option dot maybe let's say uh, name and currency. And here for the dialog we can just write uh, something like, uh, for example, uh, dial code and name or just the name, for example. Uh, now let's launch this application once again. So now as you can see for this uh, field, we have a name and currency. And in this dialog, we have just the name. As you can see, we only have the name of our countries. That's also one uh, possibility. Whenever we select one of those uh, countries, the, the country flag here will show the colors of that actual flag. And we're going to see here the check mark uh, uh, selector option, which is enabled now. So. This is just uh, the pre-made the UI component, which I have made for this uh, purpose. But of course, you can create your own uh, custom UI components and just uh, reuse the country enum class in this case. So that's also totally valid. But anyhow, for those who want to uh, use those already existing components, uh, feel free to customize them uh, by yourself. As you can see, I have added here a bunch of different parameters that you can customize, like the title of this uh, dialogue, the search uh, placeholder, dismiss confirm buttons. So the error text here uh, will appear uh, when we type here some kind of uh, a query that does not exist, like for example, this number right here, as you can see, country not found. And of course, we have a bunch of different uh, color uh, parameters, uh, the sizing parameters, and uh, many other different things. So if you have any suggestions about this uh, library itself, uh, feel free to comment down below. 
Uh, also, you can uh, write uh, and uh, even create a new issue in my GitHub repository. That's also another option. But uh, anyhow, uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below uh, your thoughts about this library in general. Of course, don't forget to leave a like to this video if you find it helpful. And uh, thank you for watching.